breaking news welcome to today's headlines see what buari's government has done following court order to release unam dekano from detention see what buari's government has done following court order to release unam dekano from detention To my dear listener, from wherever you listen from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. According to the nation, the Nigerian administration has appealed the case to, la- to the Supreme Court. The administration is requesting that the Supreme Court of the country halt implementation of the appeal court October 13 verdict in an application for a stay of execution that was filed on Wednesday. The IPOB leader was exonerated by the appeal court, which also prohibited any lower court from considering more allegations against him. The federal government challenged the lower court's ruling in a notice of appeal that it filed through the office of the Antony, General of the Federation, AGF, setting forth seven grounds for doing so. According to Sarah reporters, a three-member panel of appeal court justice presided over by Olu Dotun at the Fokwe Okoji. On Thursday, October 13, deemed Kano's extraordinary rendition to the unlawful India ruling on his appeal. The Nigerian government's terrorism and treasonable criminal accusations against him were also dismissed by the court. The appeal court determined that Kano's forced rendition to Nigeria violated all known national and international rules, rendering the terrorism case against him ineffective and illegal. The decision was made in response to an appeal filed by Kano Markt CA ABJCR 625-2022 against a prior decision made by Justice Binta Lunyakul of the Federal High Court, Abuja. In his ruling, Justice Adefokwe Okoji deemed Kano's kidnapping from Kenya and subsequent return to Nigeria to be unconstitutional and illegitimate. He then went on to dismiss the final seven counts of the government's original 15 counts. In a previous decision, Justice Bin Salun Yakul of the Federal High Court invalidated eight of the 15 counts, leaving seven of them up for review. However, the appeal court determined that the allegations were unfounded because the Nigerian government broke all regulations by extraditing Kano to its country. The court ruled that the respondent, federal government, had clearly violated international treaties, conventions, and the African Charter on Human and People's Rights through the legal kidnapping and extraordinary rendition of the appellant.
the trial court lacked jurisdiction to try the appellant on the retained counts of the accusation. The court added, because the federal government had flagrantly violated Colonel's fundamental right and so lost the legal right to prosecute him. According to the fact of the extraordinary rendition, no court can trial him, the court said. However, Justice Adefokwe Okoji wrote that the appeal was successful because issue one, which deals with jurisdiction, has been settled in the appellant's favor. The appellant is not required to answer to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, or 15 as per Justice Bintalun Yako's order, which is reversed, terminated, and dismissed. According to the nation, the Nigerian administration has appealed the case to the Supreme Court. The administration is requesting that the Supreme Court of the country halt the implementation of the appeal court's October 13 verdict in an application for a stay of execution that was filed on Wednesday. The IPOB leader was exonerated by the appeal court, which also prohibited any lower court from considering more allegations against him. The federal government challenged the lower court ruling in a notice of appeal that it filed through the office of the Attorney General of the Federation. AGF set in fault seven grounds for doing so. So, my dear listeners, 